We're Marianne and Chris, and we've been traveling full-time since 2018. We're currently spending a few weeks in the country of Georgia. A country with fantastic mountain views, crazy roads, and even crazier driving. You can't see, what is that? And let's not forget unusual architecture, delicious food, and cows on the road. <coughs> So we had a good night's sleep last night, once the music stopped. Okay, well we, we came to bed to uh, watch a bit of quiet telly and relax. And this happened. <laughs> There's a band playing in the bar next to where we're parked. Whose idea was it to park next to a bar? It was the only parking we could find. <laughs> And it's lovely and peaceful. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. The sun's just coming up. The sky is blue at the moment. On this side of the little square is the sun and our electric is flashing red again. So Marianne's just gonna move Trudy over into the sun um, and then we're gonna go for some breakfast. We've arrived in the Georgian town of Mestia, located in the Spinetti region here in Georgia and is overlooked by the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus. No, Caucasus. Of the Caucasus Mountains. Located on the southern slopes of the Caucasus Mountains, that you can see behind me. So first job of this morning is to go and find some breakfast. We'll see if some places are open. There's a, there's a number of cafes and things next to where we've parked here. And uh, the one on the end, the Layla Cafe, this one here, we tried going for dinner last night, but it was so rammed. Okay, <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> so we're gonna go and find somewhere else. There's little Trudy. That's where we slept last night, next to the park here. Oh, it's lovely this morning with the, uh, the mountains. Gamma Java. We just found this little place just off the main road. Oh, it's a nice little place. You wouldn't know this was here, just down a little alleyway. And if you're worried about the internet connection, don't, because there's a cell tower literally right there. And in fact, the internet was good enough. We streamed a bit of Netflix in bed before we went to sleep last night. Unexpected, but all good. In fact, Chris worked super hard to get the next video ready and uploaded in case we had no signal. <laughs> And they're everywhere, there's loads of mobile towers. And this is the first morning, and I don't know when, that I've got long trousers and a top on, because it was actually quite cold. It probably went down to about 12 degrees. You can still see in the distance there, snow-capped mountains. It's the, the forecast, I think, is about 20, 24 degrees today. So it's gonna be warm when the sun, when the sun hits. So we'll get changed after breakfast. Got to start the day with a coffee. Okay, so this is breakfast. Actually, they only had about four things on the menu, but we've got um, a big mixed breakfast there with some sausage, some omelette, some bread, cheese, cucumber, not my favorite, and tomatoes. So this is tashmijabi, which is che basically cheesy mashed potatoes. It is. And uh, apparently it's a traditional dish that they have with breakfast. It's good. It's cheesy mashed potatoes. It's delicious. Oh, look at that. It's all stringy. Oh, I like the string. <laughs> it's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, breakfast time. Lovely fresh bread. It smells delicious. Thank you. Madlova. <laughs> Madlova. We've popped back to Trudy and uh, got our shorts and walking boots on 
because already it's starting to warm up a little bit here. I think we're lucky that the sun is out. The forecast for the rest of the week isn't looking good, uh, which is why we're taking today to uh, have a good look around the town. That's probably why it's so green and lush. Absolutely. Okay, I've got three words of Georgia now. Which are Gamma Joba. Gamma Joba, which is hello. Ara, which is no. And Madloba, which is thank you. So the town over the years has become quite touristy. In fact, they've even got an airport just outside of the town. It's become very popular for those looking for that authentic Georgian natural experience and hiking is definitely a thing to do if you come to the town. So bring your hiking boots. In fact, one of the main hikes is to a nearby glacier and uh, that is the source of the river that runs through the town here. It's a bit of a hike. It's a couple of hours hike, I believe. Uh, we've only got one day exploring this town because we're trying to see as much of Georgia as we can in the next few weeks. And you know Marianne loves hiking, so she might be a little bit disappointed that we're not going on a four or five, six hour hike today. Well, I'd like to say, <laughs> also, as we just met a lovely couple, who are followers of Tread the Globe. Woo! It was lovely to meet you guys. We may see them on top of the uh, on top of the mountain here. But what was very funny is they said they were surprised to see us here because they rented a car and came up and couldn't imagine that Trudy would make it. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> we Thank did you make for it. Watching. There you go. And Trudy is a rock star. The town's got lots of uh, different restaurants. There's a, a barbecue restaurant here. And we've seen a little local Georgian restaurant. The town has actually become uh, quite a popular ski resort in the winter months. And there is, I can see up there, a ski slope, ski lifts that go up to the top of the mountain. And uh, they run all year round. I don't know whether you can see them on the mountain behind me, but we thought as the weather's good, it might be nice to go and take a ride on a ski lift. I've never been on a ski lift. Nope. So Mestia is actually about 1,500 meters above sea level. We're just towered, overlooked here by beautiful mountains. It's nice. We are in the middle of August. It's probably the first night that we actually both got under the duvet and woke up a bit chilly. Um, after the very high temperatures that we've had in Turkey over the last uh, month or so, it's really nice to get that fresh mountain air. The Turkish restaurant. Look at that. From Ankara. Nice to see a bit of Turkey Hello. here in Georgia. <laughs> and uh, yes, there is indeed a Turkish restaurant here in the town. And there's a uh, there's a little bar here. And uh, every day they play this movie a little bit like a cinema they play this movie uh, and it's a, a story all the actors were from uh, this region Svaneti and you can come here have a beer and watch it how wonderful is that it's amazing and of course it's a love story one woman three men girl power there you go so this is the little bar it shows here that they do the uh, the movie every day from one three five seven and nine so every two hours the movie's called uh, dead eight you can see it on the poster behind me what a cool concept a movie cinema pub it's a very cool building as well and it's right next to the river look at this it's going through a canyon here the river's been channeled that is very impressive it's literally but just around the corner it's a normal looking fast flowing river and then it's been channeled here through the canyon with these sheer cliffs that is amazing so we've crossed over the river and uh, we're just going to see if we can find where the ski lift starts i think it's this direction but i haven't seen any signposts yet i'm relying on looking at the trees <laughs> where is it Oh yeah, it's around there, so we're heading in the right direction. Go 
got another bridge here. Another river joining. So these, these two rivers would both join. It's somewhere over there, but uh, we think it was uh, this way. 50-50 chance, but there don't seem to be any signposts at the moment. Look at this view here. So this is a view overlooking the town. We've walked round. You can see all the towers. Okay, we've just spotted a right-hand turn. It goes up to the ski lifts. Enjoy. Thank you very much. There you go. A slightly better aerial view of, this, of the, uh, the town there. So we've almost arrived at the ski slope thingy. And it's not moving. So we we'll have to go up and see um, when it's going to come on. It's getting really warm now. Being unfit and hiking means I'm puffed out. The big question, is it open? Gamma Java. Gamma Java. Gamma Is open? Yeah, but uh, no light and uh, need to wait 10 minutes max. Wait right. 10 minutes, okay, no problem. Uh, oh, the power's just come on. You are here. This is a ski slope. Oh, it sounds like it's moving. Yay, it started moving again. So it was 40 lari, which is about 10 pounds. So it's about five pounds each to go up. So what you do is you stand on the platform and the chair comes up behind you and whisks you away like that. Okay, so we're walking up to the platform. The chair's gonna come behind us. Way, and then you pull this one down. Oh, there's the bar, and we're off. Oh, wow! Wow, it's like a cable car, but being free. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going. Oh my goodness! I'm feeling so brave. Literally, you just. Why have we stopped? We've stopped. There's a power cut again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a power cut. Is there? Yeah. At least we're at the bottom. <laughs> we're near the bottom, aren't we? <laughs> oh no, I just heard the beep go again. There is a ladder there. Can somebody put 50p in the meter? Oh, yeah. the bells go in. The bells. <laughs> Whose bright idea was this? It's mine, I think. Look on the bright side, love. You get to spend quality time with your husband. We are still on the ski lift. We've been still for about, probably about 15 minutes now. Marianne is actually doing a live on Instagram as we speak. Look, there's an aeroplane from the nearby airport. Look at that, they're only little planes, aren't they? Oh, I heard a bell. I can't see anybody else on it. Has anybody got any suntan lotion they want to throw up? Oh it's getting God. a bit odd. Oh, we're moving. Woohoo! Okay, people, we've stopped again. Absolutely. It's half past 11. I think we've been on here about... 20 minutes. Hello. Hi. When you get there, can you tell them we're stuck? We're still here. Don't we're in safe it. hands. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, that's really sweet. Has anybody got a rope? <laughs> in all seriousness, I think we I think we might be here for a while. We're moving. Oh, that's Hey, great. we're moving. Yeah. <laughs> we're alive. Yay, we made it. <laughs> That is a glacier in the distance. You can see the glacier up there. <laughs> ah, it's moving again. <laughs> We're getting a nice aerial view of the town now. Look at that. And it's nice that it's finally moving. We're just coming above the tree lines here. Oh, oh that's that? Ushba. That is the highest mountain in Georgia. Okay, we're coming off. So the view 
is amazing for the big mountains, but you can't actually see too much from up here. Probably a good place to start a hike. There's also, you can see the ski slopes here, pretty steep. I wouldn't want to ski down there. So many bug noises and I spotted one. They're so noisy for something so small. We're gonna have a nice peaceful ride down, hopefully, without getting stuck. So sit back, relax, and enjoy wow, the flight. Okay, we made it back down. And now we are gonna go and head off to have a look at the museum. We've come into this one room where there's all these really old pictures. Look, these are done with like almost gold leaf there, metalwork. They're wooden frames covered in silver. It looks like gold, but it's silver, and then it's got gems on it. It's a ritual cauldron, and it was used to cook sacrificed animals. But isn't that just soup? That's basically a giant stock pot. There's not that many museums with wonderful views like that. Look, look at that for a view over the town. So the museum is a well worth a visit to give you an insight into the Sfinetti culture and lifestyle over the centuries. And they've got artifacts dating back many, many years down to the Bronze Age. And they've got clothes and, and coins, weapons, and just lifestyle bits and pieces. You can really feel the tribal aspect of the Sfinetti people. And that'd be hard. I mean, life here through the centuries, especially in the mountains in the winter, tough people. I think we could do with a drink. Do you want a Scooby oh, snack? Yeah. Should we have a pit stop? Pit stop. Let's go and find somewhere to have a pit stop. So we've come into the uh, bar where they show the movies because we're hot yeah. and we fancy a nice cold drink. So we've ordered a couple of apple juice, a couple of waters. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a pink apple. Mmm. So sweet. Were you guys in the movie? Yeah. Oh, so the movie that they actually made that we were talking about earlier, these guys are actually in the movie and the movie was in film festivals, it was showed in the UK. You can check. Oh. oh, and these are the guys. Look, there she is. So the lady here in this bar is telling us we have to go to Ushkuri. Is that right? Yes, you have to go. And the road is beautiful. So apparently the road is okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, about an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently nine kilometers is a little bit, but everything else is okay. Okay. But it's okay. And we, it will be back tomorrow. Yeah. And if we're not back, can you come and find us? <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're on another road trip. Uh, we do, we listen to local advice. It's always the best advice. Tamad actually said, if you don't go there, you haven't visited Georgia. So there you go. We, that's where we're going now. We're going to go and give it a bash. Oh, yes, we're still here. <laughs> that is the end of the show, but we're not sure how long we're going to be here for. So if you like it, click the subscribe button and we will see you next time. We might still be on the ski lift. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>